Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really exciting try on haul for you. I've managed to grab some of the collection from Jamie Genevieve. She's just launched her new brand called Vive. If you don't know who Jamie is, she's a really popular Scottish YouTuber and she also used to be a makeup artist. So I'm expecting quite good things from the products because I would imagine she would have makeup artists in mind, but also kind of stuff that everyday makeup wearers would want um so i managed to get my hands on the eyeshadow palette it comes in like a little cardboard sleeve um mine's got a little bit scratched in transit but i'm probably gonna throw this away anyway recycle it but the actual palette comes in a crocodile packaging it's really really nice and luxurious feeling and you've got the logo at the bottom here so she's basically done an essential palette this is what it's called the essentials palette is nine or ten shades i think there's ten it's kind of her signature colors that you would always see her wearing so you've got the warm colors some shimmer in there some really smoky kind of shades and that's a bit of me the pans are massive the mirror folds over as well so you can kind of get ready and also have your palette on the desk it kind of depends how you like to use them i use a stand-up mirror regardless but it's always nice to have the option to have that mirror if you're on the go 10 pans for 43 pounds not too bad considering that everything is made in italy as well so the quality should really be there so i also picked up her lip liners she came out with a few shades of lip liners it's called the modern lip definer the packaging is really really nice again it's cardboard so we can just recycle that um, unless you're a hardcore collector and i got the two colors i got bark and i got rumor bark is more of that neutral brown shade and rumor is definitely more of a red toned brown and it's a bit darker as well so the lipsticks come in similar packaging that nice black and gold i got the color coming in hot the packaging is so lovely like it's crocodile print gold trimming they just look really luxurious they remind me of the tom ford lipsticks a magnetic clasp let's just get the other one the other one i got was called power suit and that one's a bit more of like a um orangey burnt kind of red so i think i'm gonna do a similar look to what i've seen on instagram one of my old friends ria who is a charlotte tilbury lead makeup artist she loves jamie genevieve and she's already got the palette so i've already seen her look with it and i really want to try and do the same one because i never wear these type of mustardy colors absolutely stunning mustard colors nude lip perfection literally like she always kills it so i'm going to attempt the same thing jamie did come out with some highlighters but there was only three shades and i really wasn't sure what one would go with my skin um because i'm currently losing a tan so the middle color looked really pink and the darkest color just looked like it would be too dark for me and i don't want it to be too dark because then it just looks muddy on me so that would probably be the only thing that i would say okay so we're gonna get into it we're gonna use the shade here called chow and just work this into the crease it's not going to be anything really specific because i'm not trying to do like a lesson on eyeshadow i just really want to see how this applies so i mean the color's there it's fairly pigmented obviously a bit of fallout i always forget to zoom you in then i'm going to go into the shade here called buff and we'll kind of see what that looks like on my skin because I don't know how dark it will kind of show up. It looks pretty dark on Rhea, but obviously with different skin colors. Oh, that shows up a lot more cool toned than what it looks in the palette. Do you know what? I don't know, understand how pukey colors like this look good. How, who decided they look good? Who thought, do you know what? I'm gonna make a color that looks like someone's had an accident and it's gonna look banging okay it's done a little something i should be smart and put powder under my eye i'm gonna take that smaller brush and i'm gonna go into delicious just on the bottom here and i'm just gonna pack it on the very outer corner it's just deepened it a little bit and then i'm gonna use a little bit of the shade good night which is just the black Ooh. 
Okay, I think this is going to be, yep. I'm just kind of placing it on the outer corner. And I think I'm gonna take that chow shade one more time just to bring back some of that yellowy color we lost. Yeah, that kind of brings it back to life a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna take a flat brush now. I'm gonna see what the shimmery shades are saying without any kind of setting spray, primer, concealer. I think I'm going to use the shade, it's either Tia or Thea, and it's the darkest shimmer shade that there is in the palette. I keep forgetting to zoom in the camera and it's really one of my worst traits. <laughs> okay, this is it with setting spray. Okay, it does go on easier, but I feel like it actually makes it more metallic and less glittery. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe I'm imagining things. Blend it out so it's not a harsh kind of cut crease look. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of Good Night just on the outer corners, kind of connect them up. Okay, I'm gonna finish off with highlighting the inner corner. I'm gonna use the shade at the bottom here called Glimmer. This color looks a lot more gold on the skin. It looks really white in the pan, but it's pretty much a pale gold when you actually put it on. I think one last thing I will do is add a little bit of that chow shade just underneath. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm feeling glam, I'm feeling bronzed, I'm feeling very Jamie Genevieve actually, and I'm sure she would agree. I'm just gonna put on my lashes and then we'll be back to try on the lip colors. So I'm gonna go in with the color Bark. Oh my God, she has literally invented MAC cork, but creamier. It's actually quite creamy where I'm scared I'm going to like slip up and make a mistake. The lipstick I bought to go with it, which was coming in hot, is this really warm nude. Ooh. Oh, it's lighter than it looks. Actually looks a lot lighter on me than it does in the bullet. I can't work out the smell. It smells of like honey or something. That's a really nice matte, you know, that's actually really comfortable. It smells really good. It's really pigmented as well because it actually covered quite a lot of the lip liner. It's a lot lighter than I expected, but I still wear nudes like this, so I'm happy regardless. It might just be my lip color that's making it obviously come off a lot lighter, but it did look a lot more peachier and warmer in the bullet. What do we think? Okay, so now we're gonna try it Rumor. A lot more red than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a bit more brown, but it is almost like a really dark auburn color, but hopefully it will go with the lipstick I've picked. This is Power Suit, and it's that rusty orange kind of color. Wow, I love this color. I don't normally wear a bold lip, but this color is really, really nice. I haven't got any lip balm on and this feels so comfortable. <sighs> Looking fresh, nowhere to go. Okay, because I'm a mess, I can't remember if I shared the prices of everything. So I'm just gonna do it now um, while I do the swatches. So the essential eye palette I'm sure I mentioned was 43 pounds. The lip liners were 15 pounds each and the lipsticks were 19 pounds each. This palette is every warm toned dream. So if you like your warm tones and you're in need of a new palette, I would definitely pick it up. The pigment is there. The lipsticks as well, I would really recommend trying them if you love a matte finish, but you obviously don't like that kind of dry feeling on your lips. 
Let me know if you picked up the collection down below. I'll leave the link where you can grab Jamie's brand. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>